Hello, Capricorn darlings. I'm Laurel. And welcome to Laurel's Moon and this bitch. Join me as I read you your motherfucking lives, baby. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. You already know I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do, baby. And if you need to get a personal reading from me, make sure that you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, laurelsmoon.com for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So spirit, you are welcome in to this reading. You must sage the cards for all of my Capricorn gods. This is going to be for September, babies. 2020 up in this bitch. Capricorns, I'm going to get the overall energies, what's crowning you. We're going to find out what's going on in your money and then find out what's popping in your love life, baby. So, let's get this shit popping. We're also going to be seeing how they feel about you, the unexpected, what's new, and possible outcomes. To my Capricorns, I kept seeing the full energy as I was shuffling. I also kept seeing the King of Wands, Queen of Wands, and the Page of Wands. So there could definitely be a pair or some of you guys are getting to some actions in both ways. You could be mirroring each other or just all together in love. Or this could be the actions that you're getting ready to set out. Um, but I did keep getting the I, I did keep seeing the full. The full. Some of y'all might be doing things all of a sudden and shit, okay? But if it's time for you guys to like meditate and do your thing or whatever, that's what the fuck you're going to have to do. But I feel like there is something you're going to have to definitely think about when it comes down to making a decision, especially if there's an offer that's at a high price. So let's see what's going down. We're going to find out what's crowning you. I got a whole bunch of um, downloads as I was shuffling your cards. You guys need to... Um, you guys could be working out or somebody's definitely thinking about nutrition or just getting your whole soul and mind together. Okay, so let's see what's popping. I'm going to get um, I'm going to get my Golden Girls Tarot to figure out what's crowning you. I also got that some of you guys, uh, somebody might be biting the hand that feeds them. <laughs> I don't know where this shit be coming from. So you might have some offers that you're going to have to take on. I'm also seeing that there's, you know, a purpose for some of you guys to find your sanity and clarity is definitely what I'm picking up. So let me show these cards one more time and then we'll just see what's crowning you. Here we go. Capricorns, my goat gods. Very first card is the Knight of Wands. Okay, so I knew it was going to be some sort of fire energy. Some of you guys are making... Um, a lot of actions when it comes down to uh, what you're wanting to do all together in your life. This could be a Leo Sagittarius male or female that some of you guys might be dealing with. But I feel overall with this Knight of Wands, this is getting to an action. So all of the wands means actions. And I, like I said in the pre-shuffle, you guys had the King of Wands, the Queen of Wands, the Page of Wands. And now you have the Knight of Wands. So I'm getting that for a lot of you guys. There's this energy of you having to make action, you having to have drive, and you definitely wanting to um, get through what you need to get through. Now, this could be something that's long term as well for some of you guys, because I'm getting with the Knight of Wands. It might be things that are happening in a flash or things that are happening pretty quickly. But I do feel like um, there's an action here. All right. That some of you guys are going to be taking, making. Okay. This could be somebody who's at a distance or you guys could be at a distance. This could be traveling as well. So, Knight of Wands, give me a clarifier for my Capricorns for the month of September up in this bitch. So, we have the Queen of Pentacles. This is you guys. So, I'm already seeing you guys holding things in the palm of your hands. You got the world and the coin up in this bitch. <laughs> So making action, um, definitely having a cause and what's driving you, or you could be dealing with somebody that's driven towards you. Uh, but I'm also getting with the Queen of Pentacles. This is you holding on to a lot of material gain. This is you also being able to be in your comfort zone as well with the Queen of Pentacles. So let's see what's popping in money and in your career. We're going to take a look at the life purpose cards 
and I'm gonna get two cards for my Capricorns for their life purpose. All right, so far we have speaker. Your life's purpose involves your skills of oration. So this is you either speaking in front of people, speaking up, telling the truth, okay, using your words, using certain uh, dictation. And I feel like some of you guys might be giving out a lot of context clues or just clues altogether when it comes down to you being able to speak and speak up, okay? So a lot of... Um, a lot of things that you're holding in high regard or people are holding you in high regard to speak up on or this is definitely you being able to speak up in a job or a situation say that there's something that's not fair your motherfucking ass might have to be that person to speak up okay <laughs> this also could be including um for some of you guys this could be jobs that include you managing and also being able to be a leader so we have strength energy here says everything you experience in your life has made you strong and courageous. So I do feel like whatever is happening in your career path, it might be teaching, it might be strengthening, it also might be conditioning as well. This could be of the mind and the body, whatever the case may be. I feel like there's a lot of experience that your life's purpose is going to be giving you for the month of September that you're strong enough to fucking handle. Now, you also could be dealing with family as well. Loving your friends and family is the center of your life's purpose. I did see this card. And leadership. Uh-oh. See, like I said, take charge of the situation. Now, some of you guys might have to spend some time to take charge of the situation, but I'm definitely picking up. Um, some of you guys have these offers that are going to be made towards you that you're going to have to really decide is that what you're fucking trying to do. Okay? And also these actions. So, let's see what's popping up in love for my Capricorns. I'm going to get these romance angels and see what's going down for my Capricorns. Give me the overall energies for the month of September. Oh, we got shit falling out. It says, pay attention to the red flags, new love, express your love. Okay. So either some of you guys are dealing with somebody, you seeing some red flags, you seeing things you don't like, that you do like, could be lower level type of energy or activity that's around you, but I'm picking up, there could be somebody new that some of you guys might be picking up on, or there's a new inviting energy that's coming towards you. Saying to express your love. So some of you guys might have to express yourselves to the ones that you do love. Or your person might have to do that to you vice versa. So let's see what's popping. We also have heart to heart conversation and trust. Trust the situation is calling for you to have faith. So you might have to have a conversation about trust. Conversation about expressing yourself openly. Let's see what's going on. Because I want to know how they feel about you. But first, we're going to see what's going on between you and them in love. For my Capricorns. Here we go. Capricorns in love. Give it to me. I did just see the Ace of Swords. So there's something about trust or communicating the truth. Um, some sort of conversation that might be happening between you and your partner. Or somebody staying silent. One of the two. So we have the seven of pentacles on your end. We also have the moon energy. You guys could be dealing with a Pisces. With this moon energy here, I'm also seeing another Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and Leo. Sagittarius, Aries is coming out very prominent with this ace of wands here. I feel like somebody is all up in their head about you. It could be about a sexual situation or bringing the passion together. So this is somebody who's wanting to express themselves, but they're having a hard time. They might be having a lot of mental conflict, anxiety, might be staying up at nighttime, tripping out is what I'm seeing. <laughs> you got this, you got the strength energy here. So there could be um, you that doesn't really feel confident towards the situation or moving forward with the 10 of wands. It could be a burden. All right. Something that's not making you happy, but I'm getting in between with both of you guys. There could be somebody who's watching and spying, looking Okay, but they're also ready. There's somebody who's ready to walk away from this situation, but definitely somebody who could be spying on you. You could be spying on them, whatever the case may be. The uh, Page of Swords also can indicate that somebody is watching you on camera. Okay, this could be online as well, too. But I feel like this person is like definitely tracking your ass with this uh, anxiety card here, the <laughs> Knight of Swords, and also with the Page of Swords here. So there's like this, like friction definitely somebody who's all up in their head and is not able to express it so somebody needs to express themselves openly and be able to just say what the fuck they need to say because the page of swords to me this motherfucker has to do what they have to do because they don't want to express it verbally or they're very immature when it comes down to expressing themselves verbally so just keep that shit in mind okay 
So let's see how they feel about you, Capricorns. How do they feel? All right, you got that King of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. So I get that somebody is definitely wanting to see some action being made here with that Knight of Wands, but I also pick up with the Two of Pentacles in reverse. This is making a final decision. This could have been somebody that was going tit for tat back and forth with being able to make a decision, but I feel like this person feels as though you need to make a decision or they feel as though there's a lot of um, energy where you might have to end them all together or they just feeling like, you're putting a burden on them by not telling them how you really feel or expressing yourself. It could go either way. But I'm picking up with the Ten of Swords and also with the Eight of Swords here. This person is kind of afraid of you ending a situation or you just canceling them out altogether and not wanting to hear anything. Because look, she's blindfolded. This motherfucker's down on the ground with the Ten of Swords. So I do pick up, you know, your person is kind of like, damn, is somebody going to betray me here? Or are they going to leave me out, shut me out? Or, you know, what am I getting ready to, what's getting ready to take place? But I definitely feel like somebody is like at rock bottom or they feel like they have to watch your situation with the Page of Cups, death energy to start over again. But somebody is definitely like either covering their eyes, blind, blinding themselves to seeing the truth, but they definitely feel like there needs to be a new love offer or some sort of offer that comes. Now, some of y'all might be dealing with somebody you're not even really feeling like that. Especially especially if they're bringing a lot of immaturity with this uh, page of cups. But they definitely feel like um, you're just kind of like, you know, trying to leave the drama behind. Six of Pentacle energy here as well. So somebody feels as though there needs to be some equal give and take or there's a consistent cycle. Some of you guys may have left somebody behind. This could have been long-term partnerships or, or a partnership that has uh, ended its cycle. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Um... What's unexpected for my Capricorns? I do keep seeing that page of pentacles. So either somebody has an offer for you or there's something new that's coming. That is definitely uh, what to be unexpected, what you could unexpect. Because I do feel like um, there's a lot of you guys leaving some shit behind that you're turning down offers. You're turning down people. You're turning down like the interest. If they bring in a lot of... Um, a lot of drama and shit like that. I feel like a lot of you guys are just like, I ain't even dealing with that shit. You know how um, y'all can keep it real monotone with a motherfucker. They can't, they can't get you, Capricorn. So I do feel like unexpected. You have some things that are manifesting here. Some of you guys might be into the occult, okay, or into the esoteric, dark magic, light magic, whatever the case may be. But I do have the magician energy here. So some of you guys are manifesting either a new love or there's definitely something new that's coming about with the seven of cups. This could be dating online or some of you guys might be getting your waist right too. Cause I do see that snake here, <laughs> but I'm also getting that some of y'all might be getting y'all sexy y'all baby. This is with the magician energy. Like, you know, you changing your look up. So whether male, female, masculine, feminine, some of y'all are definitely changing things up and I feel like you're going to be keeping some options open, keeping yourself open to what else is out there. Now, some of you guys with this page of cups, this is an offer from a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, possible Aries, Gemini or Virgo with this magician energy here. So I do feel unexpected. There's some sort of love situation that's coming together. Three of pentacles, also two of cups. Somebody's going to be working some things out, okay, for some of you Capricorns. But I feel like with this devil energy and also with the page of swords, somebody has to watch you. It could be a possible Scorpio, also another Capricorn. Um, but I do feel unexpected. There could be some drama that comes about or some things that might take place online. You just got to watch uh, what's happening on the low, low. This could be some things in the dark as well, too. But I'm getting with the uh, Empress energy here and the hangman. Somebody feels as though they have to, they're holding on, but they have to let go all at the same time. So just be aware of that. This could be with a Leo Sagittarius Aries. And I do see some friendships that could be coming about with that strength energy and also with the page of cups. So let's see um, what's new. And then I'll take a look at my singles and then possible outcomes. So what's new for my Capricorns? I do see the world energy here. So something is getting ready to come to a close or come to an end altogether. Some of you guys might be dealing with a fixed energy. Let's see. Give it to me for my caps. For what's new for the month of September. Okay, three cups. Oh, I like it. Star energy could be dealing with an Aquarian or a fixed energy here as well. 
So you guys know you cardinal, but I feel like you're getting ready to take the lead on um, being able to see what's invest worth investing in and also, you know, what you need to just take and go, keep on trucking. But I feel with the world energy here and the stars, some of you guys are going into a renewal. There could be an Aquarius energy or a fixed energy that's around you. But I do feel like um, there's a lot of celebrations that could be coming up for you guys. But some of you guys might be very stern and very mean and bitchy, though, with this Queen of Swords here in reverse. So just watch, you know, the fluctuation of your attitude and how things go. I feel like for a lot of you Capricorns, um, you got a lot of good outcomes that's coming. There's something new coming about once you finish out the cycle. It could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I'm also getting uh, Leo, Sash, Aries very strongly here. Six of Cups. Um, it could be someone from your past or there's just definitely somebody that you're having to let go of from the past. Some of you guys might be holding on to the situation, but I definitely pick up a lot of you Capricorns got some money coming in. Just be careful with what you're investing in and also, you know, what you're giving back to with the Six of Pentacles. And I feel like with the Ten of Pentacles, you got a lot of things that you're holding on to that's going to be well worth uh, while. So, um... A lot of new beginnings here. Like I said, some of you guys might be having offers that's coming to you or people that might come to you um, that want you to give back to their ass. So just be careful with that. With that Six of Pentacles, also Ten of Pentacles. So let's see about my singles and then we'll see about possible outcomes. Here we go. For my single caps, we have the moon in reverse. So there's some sort of truth. Or a mystery that's um, being solved here. This could be, you know, you just wanting to know on your path alone what truths need to be uh, revealed to you, especially dealing with others. I feel like some of you guys might be dealing with some emotional things as well, too, with this moon energy here or possible Piscean. But I feel like some of you guys might be very guarded, might be very showing your heart, honey. Okay. <laughs> so try not to show people your heart. Definitely keep on pushing and progressing is what I'm seeing here. Some of you guys might have, uh, you know, some love that might be coming in with this Ace of Cups and also with the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck for a lot of you singles. So that's probably what that lewd love is all about. Let's take a look and see about possible outcomes. So a lot of you singles might be having some new love coming down, baby, making that love something. Well, this is looking really good, Capricorns. A lot of financial gain as well, security and balance. Just be careful with people that are coming to you and asking you for shit. All right, possible outcomes. We have the Four of Swords. Some of you guys are taking a break and laying your burdens down, honey. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Now, I, I do feel like with this Nine of Swords popping up once again, some of you guys need to take a motherfucking break. Y'all need to turn on some quiet noise music or some uh, airplane music and get you a mystify or something and make yourself, you know, back into the right place. But I feel uh, you're going to come into that place, too, as well, with the Two of Pentacles energy here. So I do feel possible, out possible outcomes, you making that money come down. You definitely have some sort of ideas or new manifestation that's going to be turning out in your favor with this Ten of Pentacles. So let's get a Oracle message for my Capricorns. I'm getting two Ten of Pentacles. So definitely a new financial gain. Some of you guys might be thinking about moving or moving across country. Or moving to the country. But I'm definitely picking up a lot of real estate as well. We have loyal heart. Okay. So either somebody is loyal to the money or loyal, <laughs> loyal at heart. You got not for you and community. So somebody might have some community penis, community pussy, whatever the case may be. It's not for you. And don't you be stressing yourself over a motherfucker who ain't even stressing over you. Okay. So things are definitely faded to where they need to be as well for a lot of you Capricorns. You're going to be seeing karma coming back to people. That's what I'm seeing. So whatever you invested yourself in, either it's time to cut back on it or it's time to move forward and progress forward. Because you got all of these pentacles, these ten of pentacles here. So you're definitely on... The top of that tier, baby. Okay. All right, my loves. I will see you guys in the next motherfucking video.